Have you guys seen Orange is the New Black? The I Netflix show, it. have you heard of it? <laughs> is that like this at all? What you guys have been through? <laughs> no, 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 it's not, no, it's not realistic. No, no, What's it really no. like? that all phone calls and visits can be monitored and recorded. The pen's right there. Out of the 2,600 people, what percentage of that are females? Uh, maybe only 10. 10? And about 15%. About, about 350 or so. How old are you? I'm 22 years old. How many times have you been here? I've been here um, twice on the farm. Um, our charges are um, law violations. I don't know, but what's your patrolling charge? Well, my patrolling charge is possession uh, of a firearm. Okay. Mm -hmm. These were, have you used a gun, even though they didn't convict you in a crime before? I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Any problems here? Any drama? Any politics? I would love to. Just people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's okay, mm -hmm. let's, mm -hmm. let's, let's mm -hmm. talk about the drama that left. So there's somebody mm -hmm. here that doesn't get along with you guys. You guys kind of... Uh, Find well, your way to are. encourage her to leave. Well, no, we don't. Not us. So when, when one doesn't speak. work out, what do you guys do? We don't What's worry about it. We, 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 we don't worry about it. I pray on it. I pray on it. Ladies, let's be honest. People get rolled up all the time when they don't fit in, right? Yeah. They get rolled up. Yeah. Inmates prepare the meal. The officers are eating it, and they serve us, and we're teaching them restaurant skills. There's a lot of people that have a lot of disciplinary issues. They're in here for a reason, whether it's mental health issues, whether it's protective custody issues. This is to prevent jumpers. We had a rash five, six, seven years ago. So we had two back to back. We immediately Just, said, let's put a fence up. Yeah. And um, we did, and it stopped. Come on. Ready? Yes. Come in. 32 weeks, so that's about seven and a half, maybe more. Do you know how long you'll be in here? Um, I took a year, so hopefully I go home soon. What's it like here? Um, it kind of sucks. It's better than the IL tank, though. Mm -hmm. The other tanks are kind of crazy. Like how crazy? Like, I'm like lesbian crazy. <laughs> really? Yes. It's not like that in here? Not in this one, though. No. Do women have babies in prison here? So if she went into labor now, we would actually take her to our county hospital. She'd be, the baby would be delivered. If she has family, we can release the baby to her. Mm -hmm. Release the baby to her. So we don't have the facility set up so she could bond. Okay. Does your family come every week? No, I don't get visits or anything. So what is this place? This is the visiting yard for the minimum facility. So mm -hmm. what happens is on the weekends, we have visitors come in. And it's an interesting thing to watch because we can't, we, we could add a hundred more tables in it and it would fill them on the male visiting times. But right. on Sunday, Sunday afternoon when the females come, if we fill 10, 10, 15 tables, we're lucky. Why? The, why does that, why does it happen like that? The women just don't get the visitors. The, the, their, their boyfriends, their husbands, their uncles, their dads, they just don't come out here. The women, the civilian women visitors come out in groves for for the for, for the males for yeah the it's it's very interesting mm. they're loyal to a fault can you can i help you out with that you can hand me things like start yeah, here so you're kind of like the mama in charge of <laughs> this yard and a bunch of other things well, i've been here a long time how long have you been here stop it <laughs> <laughs> actual days about 600 no, I'm not a petty theft or anything, so mine is just straight time because I'm not doing drugs right now and right. I don't plan to go back to doing them. Back then I did do drugs. Then I got smart and figured out there was more money in selling them. Right. So How much were you making? Oh, about 1500 a day. What? And you're doing laundry now, but what was your job outside? I was a hustler, I guess. <laughs> 
Not in, personally, not in, we don't know each other from the street, but right. Inhale has seen me roll in here in a couple of years at least four or five times. So we're, we have a relationship and everything built. Mm -hmm. So and, Yeah, I've been here, what, you've been here three times and I haven't been here. <laughs> That's a good relationship.